Hey, my dudes, hey, my dudes, hey, my dudes. I, I, I just wanted to uh, talk about something. So, uh, I just realized Shore made, like, I don't know, four videos without even me watching. Especially these latest three. I actually watched the major announcement video. But he made these uh, three videos just out of the blue, and I didn't realize it until now. And basically, he's glamorizing scientific audio file for being better than him. Um, he's making fun of this guy when it comes to, like, gravity and Earth and shit. And then he's talking about how most audiophiles are idiots. But, um, these three videos, he's talking about, you know, again, if we go to Shore's, uh, crap, uh, he, he's an ENTP, he likes to argue, he likes to flail about, make arguments for what makes the best headphone or IEM, uh, and he comes up with a, a reason, uh, every couple of months of what makes the best audio and currently since he is going to Harvard um, Harvard education is what makes the best audio but before that it was deep insertion Eddie Modic it was uh, planar magnetic it was big drivers it was all these different things and at the end of the day he's a flailing ENTP who's probably gonna be very prosperous and successful in the future which is the reason why he is end game. But at the same time, you know, this is just more of the same. That uh, he's just making arguments of what makes good audio. I mean, we could. Hello, everyone. Uh, I, I realize, especially, you know, if you go to college you, and you got to consume a lot of content, you got to speed this shit up. In this video, I would like to discuss why I believe most people in the audio hobby are so bad at it when it really is not that difficult. To master audio, you first need to come to the realization that virtually everything in audio can be understood through physics. He's going to say physics again. He, I'm taking this college degree, and they're talking about physics and blah, blah, blah. This, this is just garbage. You know, the, what makes the best audio knowing about physics? And th that doesn't explain anything math and physics. Interestingly, taking my first digital signal processing course at Stanford Center for Computer Research and Music and Acoustics has brought this to my attention even further. Most of the concepts in my class I have eventually learned to intuitively understand over the past few years, but haven't... So, you know, currently what makes the best audio is getting his first experience going to college at Stanford. That's what makes the best audio. Again, ENTP, flawed arguments, Hello, uh, stupid bullshit, you know, um... He is now the best because he, he took his first, you know, couple of months at college at Stanford when audio. And now he is the best and everything is amazing, even though he still sucks ass at audio. Um, he, he's still completely incompetent. He's using headphones that measure like dog shit. Um, he's, you know, he, he's, I'll be honest, I think he's always going to be bad at audio to some degree. But he's going to know enough to bullshit you know, and get a good degree and good, good pay, uh, kind of like Sean Olive. So, I mean, this is what he uses, ER2SE, LCD5. It doesn't have enough bass, doesn't have enough treble. This is what I use, the uh, uh, Audio Hype 2 that follows his target. Again, he came up with a really good target. I now call it the Harman Mark II target, but he did kind of sort of come up with it. I mean, it's basically a compilation of other targets, but, I mean, he did come up with a very good target that I promote on my website and um yeah i i lost the the audio hype too the other day i'm not going to spend 300 dollars for some iems um i don't know like again this is like what a chinese company or something i the quality control is probably good but you know I, when I, if i'm going to spend 300 dollars i i still want to spend it on a reputable brand and you could argue maybe the audio is a reputable brand but i don't know i don't know i just even though I think these are some of the best measuring, best sounding things in the world, uh, $300 for some chi fi that came out last week, uh, you know, maybe again, chi fi is getting good, but I mean, uh, I was, you know, given this to me by a company, you know, and I wish I still worked with those people, but they, they don't give me stuff anymore. But um, this is amazing, and it, it's kind of sad, you know, because. I, uh, you know, I'm I'm about finding the best audio. The Audio Hype 2, amazing. Simgot EM6L. I'm happy. I mean, again, I, uh, the nozzle fell off the Simgot EM6Ls like a few weeks ago, and uh, I had to glue it back on with super glue. But 
you know <laughs> you know having the best audio in the world the the audio uh hype 2 and some goddamn 6 l earbuds in the world and it's some chi fi crap having the the best headphones in the world biodynamic dt 990 250 ohm with worn ear pads to dampen uh treble peaks um you know learning about audio and uh, sure you know having a target that matches the hype too um amazingly i mean sure is in game he's a he's an idiot but he's in game he's he's good at audio um you know i mean at the end of the he doesn't even own the hype too for some reason that matches his target exceptionally well um, again, my target, his target, it's interchangeable, really. When we switch back and forth, the uh, end game target and the Harmon Mark II target, which is shorter target. Um, you know, it's you know, if you if, if if it skirts, you know, this line, if the audio equipment skirts this line right here, it's good enough. You know, hype two follows his target, skirts my line. You know, so it's whatever um so I, i'm just saying that it's sad that sure is always going to be flailing about making arguments for what and, and and also being bad at audio eqing crap measuring shit like you know again what does he put on his head the lcd5 which does not follow his target the LCD-5. I mean, that's what he's got on his head. He's using EQ, cope. EQ, I mean, that's what he's he's got on his head. Doesn't match his target at all. He's got a huge 10K cut, you know. But with EQ, you know, maybe he's right. Maybe, you know, if you boost the bass and you, you know, I mean, this huge treble crater, this huge analytical, flat, lifeless bass that, that you have to boost and you have to boost the treble to get to his target, the Harman Mark II target. Um, you know, you gotta boost that with EQ. Maybe, maybe it works. I don't know. You'll still have this cut right here, but I mean, you know, if he, he counteracted that, I mean, uh, I'm just saying, you know, it's just more of the same. Uh, moving the goalpost around, uh, trolling. Um, and again, I don't know why he doesn't own the hype too. Could somebody please give him the hype too, please? Um, they match his target without EQ. Could somebody just please send sure the hype too, please? Um, so his target does sound good. I don't have a problem with it. It's it's basically my target. You know the deviations between his target and my target are so minimal that it doesn't even really matter to be honest with you. Um, you know. The, the differences are minimal and uh, inconsequential and uh, acceptable within a tolerance. So, I mean, you know, his, his you know, it, but at least I'm using equipment that doesn't need EQ. You know, that, that I mean, that's his target. That's the equipment I use. Doesn't need EQ, you know, fits between his and my target perfectly, you know. Um, the, 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 what is the point of this video? It's just seeing him f make these shit arguments still, uh, be a clown, um, which is perfectly fine. It's just, I'm not disappointed. I'm just bored and pointing it out that I use better equipment than him that doesn't need EQ cope, you know, and uh, most people don't want to waste time using EQ and and, and shit and um god damn look at my DT 990s my dudes look at my DT DT 990s with worn ear pads oh boy amazing and you know there's rules that you know you like having the air frequencies boosted a little bit acceptable um you know, having the sub bass rolled off acceptable for open back dynamic driver headphone. You know, it's going to distort. It can't handle the, boosting the sub bass without being closed back. I mean, you, you just, 
it's kind of like having studio monitors without a subwoofer, you know. Um, but, you know, and having a bright open shimmer, you know, I just, I, I just, I don't know what to think, to, to be honest with you guys. But at the end of the day, um, do you need a college education to be good at audio? No. Can, can you use that college education to get a good job in audio and bullshit people? Yes. Yeah, that's the whole point of that. But, um, you know, whatever. Whatever. 